Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here for Color Lab AI. As an editor doing any kind of color grading work, one of the first things you need to do is bring all of the footage on your timeline into a consistent Rec. 709 look. From there, you can begin to use color creatively to help you tell your story. But the problem is that if you don't have the lookup table for the camera that your footage was shot on, or worse, you don't even know what kind of camera it was shot on, you're kind of screwed. But good news, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use Freelab, a free tool for bringing any footage from any camera into Rec. 709 in just a few clicks. It's going to take me maybe about two minutes or so to do that, so let's get moving. Now, the first thing you need to know is that when you arrive at the page for downloading Freelab, you'll see a download button right here and you'll click on that. That will take you to a buy page, but this is buying it for zero dollars. You don't even need to enter a credit card or anything like that. So you just put in your information and you click on place order and a serial number will be sent to you for using Freelab. Once you've installed Freelab and you've licensed it, you're ready to go. So here I am in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I want to let you know that while I'm using Premiere Pro, you can also be working in Adobe After Effects and in DaVinci Resolve with Freelab. Anyway, here I am, and I've got this red footage, and I'm going to add in Freelab to bring it from this very washed out looking log footage, and I'm going to bring it into Rec. 709. So I'm going to go over to here into my effects, and I'm going to type in Freelab or something close to it. It falls under the Video Effects Color Intelligence Freelab. Now you can take this and drop it on. The first time you use it in a project, it may take a moment to load. I've been using it before now, so it just popped up, but it might take just a moment. Anyway, as you can see, we've already got the color looking a lot better, but I believe that it's using the ARRI preset. So let me turn down the profiles here. Yeah, and this is red footage. So I'm just gonna go up here to this red preset right here. And this brings the color to where it needs to be. It's really that simple. Now, what if you don't know what kind of camera your footage was shot on? which I have in this particular case. I've got this great footage, but I genuinely don't know what it was shot on. So I select the footage right here. And again, I'm just gonna drop Freelab right on top of it. And already that's looking better, but again, it's using the ARRI preset to start with. And we're gonna just scroll from here. I'm gonna go over to Log Generic, which is the generic profile that is AI driven and will do its best to bring your footage into Rec. 709 properly. And I can see that this has done a really great job. At this point, now that you've got the color where it needs to be, you could start working with some color grading. You know, go into Lumetric Color and add in, you know, just a little bit of a curvature there. Maybe head over to um, the color wheels and, you know, start establishing some actual look design to it. You know, bring us into um, more of a warmer and a blues there. And of course, now that you've transformed it from Log into Rec. 709, you can do whatever you need to with the color. So whatever tools you're using for your color grading, whether it's Lumetri or Magic Bullet or the tools inside of Resolve, Freelab is a great first step before jumping into any of those other tools and they work well together. And the great thing is that whether or not you know what kind of camera your footage was shot on, you don't have to hunt down the camera manufacturer's lookup tables, those LUTs that bring the footage from whatever flavor of log it is into Rec. 709. Freelab will do it for you. Now, you may have noticed this other area of the UI, and it's here because Freelab isn't just a one-trick pony. Oh, no. It's actually... Well, it's actually a, a two-trick pony, but that second trick is also really powerful. Freelab can load X01 color presets, which are in some ways similar to those popular film look LUTs that you can buy, but unlike those lookup tables, which are not editable and usually only work well with one kind of camera, X01 presets can be altered and will work with any footage on your timeline, no matter what camera it came from. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial. Download Freelab right now at colorlab.ai. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz for Colorlab AI. I'll see you soon.